Hey guys, and welcome to Shin's Top 10 Technological Tech in Terrors. This series we're going to be covering the top 10 most destructive technological forces present in the Technic Mod Pack. So, at number 10, it's the pump. Now, I know what you're thinking. A pump? That's that's not particularly terrifying. How has that made it into into our top 10 technological terrors? Well, at number 10, uh, it, it's 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 the weakest. It's 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 number 10 on our list, so it's not especially devastating but a pump all the same uh, can be quite uh, quite devastating on the on the environment so uh, if I show you here how the pump works I'll put a little platform to put the pump on first with wood here now we place the pump and the pump will extend down into the uh, water and and start to suck things up first it will need uh, there you go there's, there you see the pump coming down from the module and that will stick itself in the water now we'll need to put down a way of powering it which will be uh, redstone engines and I think we'll put three In fact, we could probably get away with four there. And we'll hook it up with wire. This is uh, lime wire from the uh, red power mod. And uh, we'll need a pipe to take the water out of the pump when it's uh, once it's been pumped. So we'll bring that pipe over there across up into the sky and uh, a place to store the water. We'll, we'll put some tanks down here and they will store the water that we pump. Now, let's hook up the lever and, uh, and see if this works. There you see the power going through the, through the line wire into the redstone engines and uh, they should start any second now, start pumping the water there we go okay so there's the water going through the pipe but that doesn't look especially destructive. It, it's doing nothing to the water. I, I, I don't see anything, anything destructive about that. What is this doing at number 10? Well, that's how the pump works. That's the basic principles of its operation. Now let me show you something we built earlier. If we can dodge this chasm. Oh, yes. Now look at this monstrosity. This is 30 pumps powered by 30 combustion engines and uh, and we're going to let this rip and see what this does to this to this massive lake of water that we've crafted for ourselves here. First up we have to start the fuel pumps. Suck fuel from these pipes, send it up into the engines. follow that as it travels along the pipe and into the engines. Now you can see the fuel level slowly filling up. There's not much water in these engines actually so what we've got is, is the the pumps piping back into the engines to cool them from their own, from their own power. It's going to take a while for these engines to get uh, to get fuel in them. Right, and with our combustion engines fully fueled, it's time to flip the switch 
on these combustion engines. Fingers crossed, nothing blows up, and uh, and let's see what this baby can do. Alright, and at number 9 we have Dynamite. This is the Dynamite that uh, Balkan's Weapons mod adds to the game. This is in the Tech It Pack, and, uh, and let me show you how this works. You right-click once, you like the fuse, you right-click and you throw it. And bang. What a mess. Let's try it again on that spider. Let's nail that sucker. Oh, oh, I hit him. Oh no, I made him angry. Oh, oh no. Take that. Oh. Oh, crap. Gonna get him. Gonna get him killed. Sooner or later. There you go. Now, uh, that's one way of using the dynamite. Light the fuse and throw it. But, there is another way you can, uh, you can use the dynamite. And check this out. This is my tank. Check this bad boy out. Right here is a dispenser loaded with dynamite. And over there, well, there's a target dummy. And uh, and let me show you how we fire the tank. Oh yeah. Chaos. And my friend Maid has kindly kindly offered to help me out, get in the tank and and press the lever while inside so that you can see what it looks like from the outside. So uh open fire, Maid. It's water over there, however, so it's just flying over there and uh, and going out. But we we nailed the we nailed the combat dummy with a good a good dynamite right to the face. So that's what happens when you have uh, have a tank with a uh, a shooty thing. Oh, what, what what is it called? Dispenser. When you have a dispenser attached to the front of a tank, like a turret, and you shoot at a combat dummy, that's what dynamite can do to that. But what happens when you have what's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dispensers? With uh, with dynamite loaded in those, attached to a redstone clock, that is going to pulse and shoot them out. So let's load up every single one of these dispensers with a stack of dynamite. Watch out, Dolly, Dolly the sheep. You're going to have to clear the blast radius because. Uh, this is going to be big. Put the last bit of redstone wire in. Are you guys ready? See if we get closer. It's dead. Jump in. Wow. That is. <laughs> that is a pit of death right there. That's. Christ, that's scary. I barely hear myself think. For some reason, only only four were firing there. 
Not sure quite why. I mean, let's let's take another look at this this setup, and uh, let's see if we can't get it working right. Aha! Now it's firing on all ten cylinders. Look at this chaos. Look at all that dynamite. Oh my god. Let's take another look. What the chaos is down there. Oh my god. If that doesn't put someone off assaulting your base, that wall of terror, I don't know what will. Fantastic. And that's that's number nine, Dynamite from Alcon's Weapons Mod. And that has been uh, the first part of our top ten Tech It Technological Terrors. So uh, make sure you don't miss the next episode and the episodes following it because we're going to be going all the way down to number one, the most powerful, most destructive force in Tech It. The technological part of Tech It at least, because we're not touching equivalence exchange. So uh, I, I wonder if you can guess what that is. I've been Sajin. Uh, click subscribe if you've liked, and, uh, and we'll see you next time.